Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about is the drain hole important for succulents? Because I do get a lot of questions on Instagram and Facebook uh, wherein uh, people want to grow their succulents in a pot that does not have a drain hole. Now guys, I would say it's completely your option, but as you have asked me this question, I will let you know that it can be very tricky to grow succulents in a container that does not have a drain hole. But that doesn't mean that it is impossible to grow succulents in a pot that does not have a drain hole. You can definitely grow it in, in that container, but there are a lot of things you need to remember and a lot of things that you need to keep in mind. Now this can work out really well for a lot of people who have hands-on experience with succulents but a lot of people who are beginners with succulent then this is going to be a very tricky situation and I would suggest that if you are a beginner please do not get into it because it's going to be very very tricky now I have a lot of experience with succulents but as you can see almost all of my but all of my succulents are present in pots that have drain holes I do not keep my succulents in any of the pots that do not have drain hole even after so much of experience all of these pots that you're seeing all of them have at least one drain hole because I do not want to take the risk because let's say that if I use a pot that does not have a drain hole either I'll have to move to all of the pots that do not have drain hole which absolutely I'm not going to do it because it's going to make my life even more difficult especially when it comes to watering so I prefer to use a drain hole it is very simple there is nothing much you have to be worried about it's as simple as having a drain hole in your pot which is going to make your life easy while growing succulents we all know that we have a lot of difficulties growing succulents and then having a pot that does not have a drain hole is going to make matters much more difficult for you but being said that you can still grow your succulents in pots that do not have a drain hole but there are a lot of things that you need to keep in mind especially when it comes to watering so you will have to be extremely careful when you're watering because you cannot water a pot let's assume that this pot or let's assume that this pot does not have a drain hole so i will not be able to understand when is the water starting to pass through the drain hole because usually we tend to do that when our succulents are thirsty or when the soil is completely bone dry we water the pot completely until the water starts passing through the drain hole but in this case because it, there is no drain hole in the pot so when we are going to water the water will not pass through the drain hole and you need to be extremely careful with this because you will have to water very sparingly to just moisten the soil and not too much because if you're going to water it too much the water will get collected in the pot and then you will have to drain out all the excess water so it's going to be very very tricky but as I said it's not impossible it is possible a lot of experienced uh, succulent keepers tend to do that but it is very very tricky for me I do not want to get into it because that's another level of stress uh, I grow succulents basically to relieve my stress to have that relaxing gardening but if I'm going to have a pot that does not have a drain hole it is going to stress me out even more because I wouldn't be sure when to water when not to water how much water is still present in the pot because there is no drain hole the soil is going to stay moist complications that are going to be there when you're using a succulent pot without a drain hole so we already have a lot of difficulties in growing succulents so this is another issue that you are going to be adding on to your succulent collection by not having a drain hole it is as simple as having a drain hole in the pot it's pretty simple most of the pots do come with a drain hole and it's very simple all you have to do is just put your succulent in a pot that has a drain hole and then you are carefree but over here you will be completely stressed it will be very difficult as especially if you are a beginner it is going to be very very tricky to handle a succulent which is potted in a pot that does not have a drain hole so my simple advice would be let's not get into it let's not get into pots that do not have a drain hole even though you can grow succulents in that but it's going to be very stressful it's going to be very complicated especially when it comes to watering apart from that you'll have to be extremely careful with the soil mix that you're using because it's going to be a very different kind of a soil mix you'll have to have a very very gritty soil mix definitely you cannot use uh, soil in that kind of a pot because soil will retain slight amount of moisture it is not going to get dried up because there is no drain hole apart from that coco peat is something that we usually do not use for our succulents but if you're going to use coco peat in a pot like that definitely your succulent will get rotted so there are going to be a lot of disadvantages rather than advantages but i would say the only advantage would be that uh, probably it's not going to mess up things like it's not going to drip out water from the pot 
there won't be any soil coming out from the pot probably in that way there is a very small little advantage and that's all which you can easily overcome that let's say that if you want to keep your circles in the windowsill and you feel that there is water coming out from that or there is soil coming out from that all you need to do is just take any kind of lid or any plastic lid available at your home and you can just keep your succulent over it that's all about it it's pretty simple rather than getting into such a tricky situation wherein you are so much stressed out about watering your succulents when to water when not to water so i think this is going to work out really well all you need is just put anything beneath the pot and just keep your pot near the windowsill and you do not need to be worried about any soil spilling or any water spilling out of the pot but let's say for example you have a ceramic pot that's given to you by someone very special and it does not have a drain hole now obviously a lot of us do not have experience in drilling holes into a ceramic pot probably it might even damage your ceramic pot while making the drain hole or probably you do not want to make any drain hole because it's given to you by someone very special and you do not want to break anything or you do not want to make any hole into it so what you can do is if you have your succulent that already is potted in a plastic pot or whatever container and if the pot fits into that particular ceramic pot then you can just keep your succulent in that pot so in that way you can keep Keep your ceramic pot safe without drilling any hole and you can just place your uh, succulent into it now this de definitely the pot plastic pot is really big but probably you can get something smaller and you can just put it into it now this is going to be very simple you are able to use your ceramic pot given to you by someone special at the same time you do not need to make any drain hole but this is just an example because this pot size is not correct for this plastic pot that's why the plastic pot is standing out of the pot but you know you can alter it according to your uh, choice so what you can do is whenever you want to water it you can just take it out water your succulent let all the water drain out and then you can just put it back into the uh, concrete pot or the ceramic pot or whatever pot that has been given to you that does not have a drain hole so in this way it is good you will not spill any water out or the soil it's going to be contained in this plastic pot so it is going to work out really well all you have to do is just take it out water it and then put it back but always ensure that all of the water is drained out from the container and then you can put it back into your a ceramic pot or whatever pot has been given to you which does not have a drain hole so in this way you can work out without damaging the ceramic pot but at the end of the day i would say it's your choice if you still want to go ahead and use a pot that does not have a drain hole so you'll have to be extremely careful especially when it comes to watering you'll have to be very very careful because it's not going to be something like wherein the water will pass through the drain hole in this there is no drain hole so you will have to be very very careful with adding water to your succulent but however as i said it's not impossible to grow succulents in pots that do not have a drain hole but you have to be extremely careful and very vigilant when you're growing succulents in such type of container so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating